Welcome back to Critterland. Well, today we have two exciting things. We have the Sylvanian Family's Calico Critters new Bluebell Cottage. This came out in 2022, and it will be the raccoon grandparents' home, as well as the new reindeer male lady scooter, which is super cute. So I thought this would be the perfect retirement home for our grandparent raccoons. This cottage is the re-release that recently came out in London, and it was originally put out in 2003 by Epoch Japan. Uh, then it, was, it came out a little bit later with a pinker color, and this was also called the Riverside Lodge on some packages. So this is the one that we have. This is the new one from uh, the UK. And this is not to be confused with the new Christmas one that came out in Japan, which I would absolutely love to have. So much that I put reindeer out uh, to go with this one. But it was four times the cost. And I just originally wanted the Bluebell Cottage forever before it was re-released. So I was happy to get this, and I didn't think I should get both of them. Um, and this one was a lot more affordable. It was about $40, uh, 40 pounds, sorry, about $50 from the Sylvanian storekeepers in London, plus shipping, which I think was about 25, but that was for a larger order. So anyway, I went ahead and set it up and I put some cool things in here. This is that sewing machine that we looked at a while ago. So let's go inside and take a look. So, of course, Grandmother loves to collect critters, so she's got her little critter collection stuffed in the corner. And a very small kitchen fits on this wall, the little toaster. And not a lot fits in here because there's a built-in oven that really constrains the space with that weird uh, dip down. But I did put some pillows in there. And here's a little shelf corner that I forgot to fill up the shelf, but uh, here's the, the chair that comes with it and a little book uh, magazine rack. And I took the original ladder out and put the ladder uh, that came in the sky blue terrace home. And I think that fits a little better and I like the color. The bed in here came with it and then over here is the little hot room. So I thought the little sewing machine would be perfect for grandma to do her sewing. And of course some more critter stuff. So they'll park their little sidecar here. And I love the little porch area, the, the deck, that is meant to like overlook the lake. And they, they like to have their biscuits and tea on the deck. So I just love this little house. It's just so small and unique. And it's got lots of little intriguing details that I really like. And it looks beautiful from every angle. So that's a, a really special addition. And Grandma is excited because little uh, grandson Raccoon is coming to visit. So she is very excited about that. So uh, that's not all. Now on the other side of Critterland, we have some more excitement. We have our reindeer gathered around a Christmas tree as a hint uh, as to who will be welcoming. Uh, but they've got their little carrots and snacks. And over here, Male Mole is uh, having a little trouble. He's going to need to deliver a whole bunch of packages for Christmas, and he's not quite sure how he's going to get the job done. But he's also got kind of a big ego, and he doesn't accept help very easily. So, yeah, they don't even fit in a scooter. I think we need the reindeer mail carrier. <laughs> so... This is the uh, new Japanese reindeer mail scooter set that was put out this year that I pre-ordered from Kobe Japan back in November and it arrived, no, back in October and it arrived in November, a little bit after Thanksgiving. So I've been holding on to it because I wanted to do more of a, of a special video for it. Uh, and do it with the Bluebell Cottage, and the Bluebell Cottage was super delayed. So anyway, here we are now. This is the beautiful reindeer male mother. She is absolutely gorgeous and has this beautiful hat that has holes in it, so it sticks on very beautifully. And she's got the blue and white stripes, just like the uh, United States Postal Service. And the little gold uh, stripe. Her uniform is super cute. I just, I really love it. And I wanted to bring out the hedgehog uh, scooter and the hedgehog. 
uh, because this scooter is the same mold as the uh, reindeer scooter. And I wanted to see whether they were skimping on the details with the new scooter or if it was comparable. So this is the new one. It has the green and the uh, red, obviously, in the cream color. Uh, but it is definitely as detailed as the uh, pizza scooter. The pizza one is glossy, so it has that super shiny uh, uh, cart department, uh, whereas this one is more of a matte finish. The wheels have the painted silver, which I love, uh, and then a painted tire. This has gray on the bottom, and this is all a solid color. Uh, this has printed uh, detail, like the printed present on the front, whereas the pizza scooter uses a sticker, and they both have stick-on odometers um, and painted handlebars and seats. I mean, lots and lots of details. So this, uh, the reindeer scooter does not disappoint. It is as awesome as the hedgehog pizza scooter. So poor male mole is looking a little bit dejected over here. Um, poor little guy. But let's look at these accessories. It comes with a little bear and ambulance. And these are toys that have been put out before. They're just in new different colors. So I thought I'd show you some other versions of these. Now, every all of the teddies on this table are unique. Even these bunnies, you can see one has the glossy finish and one is not glossy. You have that creepy one there. This one looks like a gummy bear. And this is the one that we got in the reindeer set. And then here are some little vehicle toys, the little train. Look how detailed these are. And this is the ambulance, which is the same mold as the new, uh, or I'm sorry, the fire truck, which is the same mold as the ambulance. And there's a little adventure sky ride. It also comes with some packages. And I made a photocopy of the um, foldable packages in case something were to happen to them. Now these are made of a good thick cardboard, which is very nice. Just like the ones that came in the Santa set, uh, they came fully assembled, but they're nice uh, sturdy boxes. Whereas there are some like this that came in the party set that are uh, very flimsy paper. So it's really nice to have the thicker, more substantial cardboard. So it comes with two of the big presents, and I like that one of them isn't necessarily holiday themed. And then there's this little one, which is the perfect size for that new cottage that has the mailbox, the new starter home. So it fits in there. And then you've got three little postcards that you can fold over. And they're beautiful. So you have a birthday one, or maybe a wedding themed. I love this one with the Christmas tree and the presents. Now the trick I found to assembling this or any box is to crease every single um, fold first. And then when you can put it all together, you don't have to worry about crushing it. So there's the first one. And we'll quickly assemble this one. So we're gonna see if she has any better luck squeezing these packages into her scooter. Nope. This scooter is smaller, so we will need Male Mole's help, so he'll be happy about that. So even though each of these scooters only fits one or two packages with two male critters, then we could deliver twice as much. But we do need something for these letters. Uh, it did not come with a mail bag, so we will borrow the Traveling Bunnies bag and use that as a mail bag. And I think they'll fit really well. And thankfully, Male Mole is no longer feeling threatened, and he is going to work together with the male reindeer. And we now have two male carriers in Critterland. So what do you say, Male Mole? Best friends? I think they're best friends. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Thank you.